Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Get Creative. Today I'm going to be painting with this stencil I made onto the Dollar Tree doormat that they have. I'm just using two scrap pieces of vinyl that I had. I did try to do this with the Dollar Tree contact paper that they sell, but it just was not sticky enough to stick down to the doormat. This design, I just printed it off on my, or cut it out with using my Cricut. And here, I use just a little bit of uh, the con um, transfer tape, just to keep all the little pieces of the spider web together, but it didn't work out too well. And I still had to um, take some off and move them around and place them down, the ones that didn't stick. But I put the piece of tape down the center so I can work one half of the design at a time. If you had a simpler design with just the regular word welcome, you probably wouldn't even need to use the transfer tape. Or if you had a regular thick stencil like a store-bought stencil, um, be easy too. But here I'm just taking the backing off the vinyl of the other side. And since this doormat has all the texture on it, um, it's easy to move the vinyl around after you've set it down, which you'll see I have to do. A few times because my I used two separate 12 by 12 pieces of vinyl and they shifted on me so I had to pick everything up and move it around but as long as you get when you're ready to paint you just have everything pressed down you should be good to go Okay, now starting to paint. I went over everything one time. You can still see a lot of the black from the texture. The paint didn't get all the way down into the grooves. Um, but you wanna make sure you use a sponge and just dab and don't kind of make sliding motions like your paintbrush or with a paintbrush, but use a sponge and just dab it. So I went through the whole design once and then came back the opposite way and got a lot of paint on my brush and really pushed it down into the grooves of the mat.
Sorry for my kids keep coming in and out of the picture. Uh, we have a full house. That's why my last few videos have all been these voiceover videos because there's no quiet <laughs> to record right now with all the family visiting. Now time for the big reveal. I didn't really wait for it to dry because I wanted to see if it actually worked. And I think it came out really well. There's a few spots where you can see the paint bled through the creases of the mat. But for being my first time trying this out and it working pretty good. Now this is what the mat looks like, all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.